never smelled anything so foul. Hey guys, oh, welcome back to the channel. Me. Today I'll be showing you some more Final Fantasy VII Remake gameplay. This is the second chapter to my Let's Play series. And I'll be playing on chapter two and continue with the main story. So again, this is played on the PS4 Pro. It's not quite played at 4K, but it is um, recorded in 4K. So hopefully this is very, very clear on YouTube for you guys. So let's get into it. For those who missed chapter one, please go back and watch it. I'll leave a link to the description for that. But just to sum it up, uh, this person you see here, Cloud, is a mercenary. And uh, we've just completed a mission to blow up a reactor. I felt that one in my guts. They just keep on coming. We need to get out of this place. Was it the Mako density? The primary explosive? The blasting agent? Hey, we can figure that out later. <sighs> I'm running on empty here. You can refuel at the base. Next time I'll have to bring a little pick-me-up. Wedge is always hungry, man. Throughout the whole game, he's always moaning about his stomach. How much farther do we have to go? Not far. It's a lot That's of. That's uh, about as good a place as any. Stand back, then. Corridors. I'll set the bomb. Can't it's quite wait a bit. See you, Can't wait to take a hot shower. She's good to go. Stop now. This was just the first reactor, and the planet won't be safe till we get the rest. Yeah, we always knew this was gonna get messy. And this is only the beginning. Y'all gotta look at the bigger picture here. Nothing worth fighting for was ever won without sacrifice. Though you may not be crying out, I know you're in pain, just like the planet. But it's okay, because I'm here for you, to help take the load off your shoulders. Your fears, your worries, your concerns, and yes, your fears. Whatever your problem, I got you. Huh? Hmm. So, what's our next move, boss? That's easy enough. We get our asses home! Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> A lot of collateral damage. Wasn't originally the plan, but... I guess they're gonna be feeling a bit guilty now that I've taken some innocent we'll lives. Up and shoot for the last train home. Regroup in the freight car. Got it? Later then. Hey, I'd like my money now. You can have it once we're back at base. <laughs> Cloud doesn't play straight to business. I don't need to tell you what this is, right? Of course not. 
It's healing material. You can have it for saving my life. Just doing my job, nothing more. Yeah, yeah. Fact is, I'm lucky you were there. <clears throat> Survival can be a matter of luck or skill. And you can't rely on luck. Words to live by. <laughs> yeah, well, thanks. You do know how to use it, right? You do know what I was, right? Okay, I was only trying to help. Oh, before I forget, here's a little something extra for being so brave. That really was the ride of a lifetime. Well, see you on the train. Okay, that was nice of her, but we don't need any healing materials, I already got some. Let's get on the train as quickly as possible, Let's collect everything I can in, in, um, in sight, because there are some good stuff you can open in chests, even at my level. Find another way through. Stations intact. Clouds just remembering Nimblum and Sephiroth. I don't remember Sephiroth being so huge. He looks massive compared to Cloud. I guess we're gonna have to follow it him. Couldn't be. But then. So Cloud's got a really traumatic kind of tortured past. So these kind of headaches will be coming along throughout the whole game. And every time he sees Sephiroth, he pretty much almost can't function properly. So many things will be lost. Your hometown is so bright. The sound of her voice. 
bleeding from despair, the shiver of her flesh yielding to cold steel. That which binds us together would be no more, and I would be loath to live in such a world, which is why I must ask you this one favor. Don't worry, it's a simple thing. Run, Cloud. Run away. You have to leave. You have to live. You bastard! Good, Cloud. Very good. Hold on to that hatred. The Clyde's finally snapped out of it. But you do eventually get to see uh, Cloud's kind of history with Sephiroth, but uh, I won't be until the second part of this game. I'm seeing things. Fumes from all the Mako, maybe. All right. You got this. Okay, so we're through. This part of the, the game is pretty slow paced, but it does start to pick up eventually. But we just run into Aerith now, somewhere. The soundtrack on this though is just amazing. The remaster really, really hits you with a nostalgia, it has to be said. And with the voice acting now, you get a better sense of the uh, personality of, of all the characters. I think they did a really good, good casting job with the voice actors as well. The intruder escape. Security's everywhere. Okay. So I can't directly take them on now. I'll speak with Aerith first. right it's a gift you know for scaring those things away what things never mind think of it as a memento just my luck I heard that you know how much well that depends on the customer in your case <laughs> it's on the house Huh? Lovers used to give these when they were reunited. Look, I'm involved in things. Dangerous things. Oh, I'm sure you are. So? So keep your distance. Wait, you think someone's out to get you? Is that what you're all worked up about? Relax. No one's going to attack you. I promise. Hey, a Mako reactor just blew. You shouldn't be out here trying to self- <gasps>
your weapon! Are you blind? You know, you're right. Maybe she stopped to say bye. Okay, I guess if I deal with these guys, bring it on. Sword on the ground, right now. Ah, oh, damn it! I always forget about that. You have to make sure you're locked onto your enemy, or you will miss your magic attacks. Anyway, these guys are light work here at this level. It's never in doubt. Let's find a way out of here. Stop! Here we go. Take this dog out. Come on, bring it on. It's over. Good to counterattack these guys. Nothing to it. Okay. Can't go that way. This way is blocked as well, so we have to go back the other way. That way is blocked as well. Hmm. Let's quickly go down here just to make sure there's nothing that we can get. Couldn't have gotten far. Stay alert. Okay, so we got some resistance waiting for us. Let's get this. There's some uh, support material over here. Yeah, just try to stop it. Let's go. Is. Deadly dodge. I've already got that, of course, but that would have been useful if I never had it. Alright, let's go into counter attack punisher mode. It's never in doubt. Easy. Okay, let's find another way. There's anything around here? Mm. No. Okay, let's go down through this alleyway then. Already been here. Okay. We'll keep an eye on where I can go. That's locked. Those in the vicinity are instructed. Okay. So we've got to fully go back on ourselves now to find uh, where you meant to go. So there are times when you start going back and forth. I don't really want to get the map up. It should be easy enough to find. It's just going to need this waterfall. Just give it up. Don't run. Here we go. Come on then. Let's see what you got. Waiting for the dog to attack me. Come on. That's that. Alright, now let's take these guys out. More on the way, huh? Oh, come on. Magic's annoying if you've got to really lock onto your enemy or it won't work. Okay, who else wants it? These guys. Great. Right. No problem. Okay, 
I do love the triple slash. Yeah, there's a ladder somewhere around here. There it is. Come on, climb up. Over there! Open fire! Shoot to kill! Yourselves, you cowards. Don't underestimate him. <laughs> All right, let's see what you got. <laughs> Nothing to it. Kind of tackles us too much for you. Alright, let's move on. Not bad. It's kind of with these guys like cheese. Was never in doubt. Alright, let's see what you guys have got. It's <laughs> way too easy. Come on now. To use the bravest. Okay. Not bad. See if you can block this. Uh, taking down a one block. Enemy combatants, you have been warned. Turn your attack to public security immediately. Come on, then, let's see what you got. <laughs> Easy. Make sure I get everything before I go.
this one. Kiss Cloud won't be joining us after all. No need to assume the worst. I'm sure he's fine. You saw him in action, didn't you? Guy's a soldier. Goddamn one-man army. Hmm. You think he's a keeper? Security to run around. That's what tough guy was in a slip for a second, Barrett. From the station, somehow. Nicely done. Well, can't argue with results, huh? <clears throat> what? <sighs> Wait. Got a question for you all. What? Ever been attacked by an invisible enemy? Wearing robes. Came and went like the wind. <laughs> Thought they were invisible. They were, at first. Only saw them after she grabbed me. A new Shinra weapon, maybe? <laughs> More like a panic-induced hallucination. <clears throat> Never mind. Forget I said anything. Suit yourself. Come on, let's move up. A lot of people here. And in the freight car, too. Because of the evacuation order, maybe? Lucky this us. We've got a crowd to hide here. Head for the front of the train and hold there. Due to an explosion at Mako Reactor 1, an emergency schedule is now in effect. Your understanding and cooperation is appreciated. I just want to get home. All right. This part of the game is pretty slow, so I'm going to get through it as quickly as possible. Hey, got a sec? If you want. You're uh, holding up pretty well, huh? Even after what we saw at the station and all over Sector 8? Why don't I'm a you learn to take a hint, buddy? Well, my hands are still shaking. You get used to it. Something to look forward to. Why don't you learn or to take a hint, not. buddy? Have they caught the perpetrators yet? <laughs> yes, sir, it is. You realize she was on the train with us all this time. Should have never gotten out of bed this morning. Just called in sick. Talk to Jesse. Little help, Cloud, please. I'm sure I can't stop thinking about it. Too. The bomb I made no, shouldn't have produced an explosion that, that big. It doesn't make any sense. The explosion triggered a reaction with the Mako. You said so yourself. That was my first guess, but shouldn't the reactor have fail-safes to prevent that kind of thing? Hmm. You mentioned invisible enemies back there, right? Right. Oh, no. I'm just looking for excuses for something that was clearly my own fault. <sighs> Gotta own up to it if I'm gonna learn from this and move on. Thanks, Cloud. You're a good listener. <laughs> What kind of maniacs would go so far as to bomb a reactor? Uh, they've yet to announce it publicly, but I heard it was Avalanche's doing. Really? Aren't they the terrorists who tried to kill the president? Is there nothing they won't do? Hey, quit talking out your ass. Everyone knows Avalanche only cares about saving the planet. Hmm? Just who do you think you are? A law-abiding, concerned citizen. Law-abiding? Really? Mm. <laughs> uh, uh, shh. I'm antagonizing. Mm. In my humble opinion, that explosion was a message. A message to the bastards bleeding our planet dry. Think they got it? Heard it loud and clear, y'all's masters. <laughs> we will not submit to intimidation or violence, but work together for peace and prosperity. That is how civilized people change the world. That's right. That is the Shinra Creed. Hmm. 
<laughs> Those fighting words. It's what we believe. We all have to follow our conscience, don't we? We should go. Right. <laughs> Barrett, chill out, man. Oh, Gets too worked up. You hear that suit? Shinra creed my ass. We're the good guys, damn it. You hear that suit? Shinra creed my ass. <laughs> Get this out of the way. Personally, I find visual aids make the dull stuff a lot more bearable. If it helps, think of it as an initiation rite. How many times do I have to tell you people? I'm not. <clears throat> There's such a thing as playing too hard to get. So, here we've got a wireframe model of the great city of Midgar, complete with massive steel plates suspended 300 meters above ground level, atop which stands a shining beacon of civilization. The whole system is sustained by the Mako reactors, which feed the insatiable appetites of the public. The train will be passing through an ID checkpoint shortly. This here is the train's route. As you can see, it'll take us around this main pillar. Look, we're about halfway through it now. They've set up a checkpoint here to scan the IDs of all passengers heading in and out. Date of birth, residential status, criminal history, all that and more is automatically cross-referenced in their databases. Public security wouldn't have it any other way. Heads up. <sighs> Don't worry. Our IDs are impeccable. What'd I tell you? Have a little faith. Won't be long till we reach the bottom. Relax. Take a good look. It's because of that great big pizza in the sky that people down there got to struggle to survive. Shinra sucks up Mako while the soil turns to dust, the air fills with smog, and the flowers die. Then leave and don't look back. <sighs> that's what's always worked for me. <sighs> well, that's all well and good. If you're only out for yourself. But the folks down there don't have the luxury of choice, you know. A bit too heavy for Cloud. <laughs> it's kind of a selfish guy to be fair at the very start. There's only one way it can go. Okay, so that's probably the end of chapter two now. I am doing this in chapters, so I'll be probably ending it here and I'll be coming back with chapter three. So uh, stay tuned. One, members lost zero. And one step closer to a brighter future. Hell yeah! Guys! Lower your voices, huh? People are listening. Oh, God. Right. <laughs> uh. hmm. Now get some r, &R. You've earned it. Just be ready for the next mission, all right? Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> See you soon. Uh, at Seventh Heaven, you know where Tifa works. Don't keep her waiting; she'll worry. Okay, guys, that's pretty much it from me. Thanks very much for tuning in, and I'll see you in the next video.